What is up, everybody? February 9th, 2020, in the Be Bear Lake, California area. We are in the village at the moment, and sorry I got the video started a little bit late. I was on a long phone call with some cool, cool, cool peeps. All right, All right. you know what? I'll, I'll let these, these folks cross. That's the right thing to do. It's Abbey Lane. Guys, you need to shop here. This is one of my best friend's shops right here. You need to buy all your Big Bear stuff here. They are the nicest people. They are the nicest people, Gabriel and Lindsay. And guys, Gabriel is like 24 years old, 25 years old, and owns one of the biggest stores in Big Bear. Like, dude, the guy, I, I'm, I just, I'm so impressed seeing younger people just killing it in life. Gabriel, I'm very honored that you are my friend. And uh, I'm very honored you introduced me to your father. And you're just a good dude, man. I'm uh, so guys, also something about Gabriel is he and I, we didn't even talk to each other about the Harley Davidson thing. And literally like, uh, um, I got called for a delivery down there and I told him, Hey bro, I'm going to pull up on my brand new Harley. And then he was like, shut up. And I'm like, dude, 2020, he just bought like a 2018 or a, a 2019 that exact same day that I got mine. So I'm like, you know what? That's meant to be. That's totally meant to be. That's super cool, man. So, um, yeah, we were going to go riding tomorrow down to like, uh, Grant boys or something and go buy a really just awesome hand cannon, like a Smith and Wesson 500 or something. Um, because I can, and I just want one of those big, 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 just, you know, dirty, hairy type, um, <laughs> they're cool looking and the thing weighs like 15 pounds yeah it's crazy anyway um so we're not gonna be doing that tomorrow but that's what i was gonna be doing tomorrow is riding down early in the morning to go to the gun store with with gabriel <coughs> okay so look there's a little bit of blue sky right up there but the storm's coming in from this direction It's uh, still 32 degrees. Oh, it's just past 420. That's a bummer. It's 421. Can we take a minute back? All right. This guy is so immature with his marijuana talk. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You know where I haven't been yet up here? The observatory. I have not been in that observatory yet and I'd love to go. It's a solar observatory, guys. That's pretty cool, huh? <coughs> so guys, there's right over here used to be the old ice skating rink. Keep your fingers crossed. This red building right here, almost 12,000 square feet. I might be renting it with my, um, with my, with two of my best friends, my very best friend, Nick and my, and my other super close friend, Jimmy. He's like a best friend too, man. He's just such super good freaking people. But that place is, uh, it used to be the old ice skating rink here and it's huge. And we're gonna open up, uh, um, it's probably gonna be called something like Big Bear Boxing and MMA Training Center. And what we're gonna be doing is on top of just all, all the training and women's defense courses, children's defense courses, and just all the Gracie combatives and stuff, um, we're, we're also going to be doing strength training, yoga. We're going to hold camps up here, training camps for these fighters down the hill who, if they really want to maximize their potential, they will come up here and train at altitude. And I promise you, we will kick their ass um, and they will work hard. Um, these two guys that, that I have working with me, Nick, he's my best friend in the world. And uh, he's going to be our striking coach, strength training, all that yoga, um, Jimmy is almost a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He is a brown belt and uh, he has really good lineage in, um, in BJJ, really good lineage. So the people that will be getting belts from him um, will be 
getting belts from very famous people. It's pretty amazing. So yeah, so that's that's what else we got going on up here right now. I know you're saying, geez, how are you gonna afford a 12,000 square foot place? Um, that's an interesting question. Thank you for asking. So, so great idea. I'm not gonna talk about it, the idea itself um, until we actually get an answer on it. But let's just put it, I'll just play it short. And those of you who know anything about real estate will understand. So um, the owner has been losing his bum big time from what I've read about, seen, and it's not even being rented out. And he's just losing, losing, losing. So I was thinking we, we, we gather up some cash and we take, take him a year's worth of what we want to offer him up front and just have a one year contract. And, I, and I'm telling you, it's not going to be that much money. You know, we might offer like 1500 a month or something, but one of the contingencies here is that we would have to maintain the place. And because Nick, my best friend, he's not only an electrician, he's an industrial electrician. Um, the guy uses his mind and uh, um, just he's, he's just super, super bright and knows what he's doing and does things well and does it right. So we're gonna fix it up. As I said, that, that's, that's part of the deal. Um, if we even get the opportunity for this place. And if not, I got a couple other places in mind, but right now, yeah, there's, there's just nowhere you can train up here for BJJ. You can go to the grappling club and stuff, but yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's nowhere really that like you can learn it the right way up here unless you get coached by like my friend who um, I'm not like hiring him. I don't want Jimmy. I don't want you to think I'm like, uh, like, uh, you know, I'm your boss or like this and that. It's, we are equal partners here. That's, that's the biggest thing is that even though I'm putting in a lot of the funds, I wanted you guys to see how much I care about you guys um, to where I, I'm still going to give you equal, equal share in this business. Um, because I don't want you guys to, to feel like you're being robbed or screwed over, taken advantage of, because you guys have been through that so much by the same person. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to let that happen and I'm going to be here and, um, yeah, dude, dude, you guys need to come up here and train once we get this place open for all my YouTube fans. I have to figure out some sort of, uh, not fans, friends, all my YouTube friends. It sounds so, sounds so pompous to say fans. I need to figure out a way to uh, get you guys some sort of a, um, like a, a, a free weekend pass to come check out the gym or something like that. But as I said, um, this, this could be pretty awesome. This could be pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and I really love giving back to you guys, man. I really love giving back to you guys. As I said in the video earlier, I'm having a big party this next weekend up here. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I check out at like 3 p.m. on Wednesday in a mansion in, in Upper Moon Ridge. Those of you who come up here are more than welcome to drop in and come hang out, have some fun. If you're not going to be driving anywhere, take some tokes and just enjoy your night. It's all on me, you guys. Unfortunately, since I don't drink alcohol, I will not be providing any alcohol, but I'm not so much of a wuss that I'll say that, oh, because I can't drink, you guys can't drink. No, just because I'm weak doesn't mean that I need to force other people who are, you know, um, doing really well with moderation. Moderation just doesn't work out for me. So, um, with, with alcohol, it's one is too many and a thousand is not enough. Anyway, I love you guys very much. Hope you guys have a good one. And I hope to see you, some of you at least. I know it's short notice, but hit me up. Let me know. Peace out.